hepatitis B surface antigen detection by rapid cart test. The hepatitis B surface antigen test device is a qualitative solid phase two site sandwich immunoassay for the detection of HBSAG in serum or plasma. The membrane is pre coated with anti HBSAG antibodies on the test line region of the device. During testing, the serum or plasma specimen reacts with anti HBSAG antibodies conjugated particles. The mixture migrates upwards on the membrane chromatographically by capillary action to react with anti HBSAG antibodies on the membrane and generate a colored line. The presence of this colored line in the test region indicates a positive result, while its absence indicates a negative result. To serve as a procedural control, a colored line will always appear in the control line region, indicating that proper volume of specimen has been added and membrane wicking has occurred. Primary sample. Only serum must be used for testing. Store the sample at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. Samples can be stored for up to a week. Do not use hemolyzed serum. Patient preparation. No special preparation of the patient is required prior to specimen collection by approved techniques. Type of container and additive. Collect 2 milliliters of venous blood in a plain red topped vacutainer. Reagents and consumables. HBS AG test device. Sample dropper. Safety precautions. The use of disposable gloves is strongly recommended while running the test. In case there is a cut or wound in hand, do not perform the test. Do not smoke, drink or eat in areas where specimens or kit reagents are being handled. Tests are for in vitro diagnostic use only and should be run by competent person only. Do not pipette by mouth. All materials used in the assay and samples should be decontaminated in 1% sodium hypochlorite solution for 30 to 60 minutes before disposal or by autoclaving at 121 degree centigrade at 15 psi for 60 minutes. Do not autoclave materials or solution containing sodium hypochlorite. They should be disposed of in accordance with established safety procedures. Wash hands thoroughly with soap or any suitable detergent after the use of the kit. Consult a physician immediately in case of accident or contact with ice or if contaminated material are ingested or come in contact with skin puncture or wounds. Spills should be decontaminated promptly with sodium hypochlorite or any other suitable disinfectant. Do not open the foil pouch to remove the product until it attains room temperature and you are ready to perform the test. Take out the cards from the pouch just before performing the test to avoid denaturation of antisera due to atmospheric exposure. Test procedure. Allow the test device and specimen to equilibrate to room temperature prior to testing. Remove the test device from the sealed foil pouch and use it as soon as possible. Best results will be obtained if the assay is performed immediately after opening the foil pouch. Hold the dropper vertically Transfer three drops of serum or plasma to the specimen well of test device and then start the timer. Wait for the colored line to appear. The results should be read at 15 minutes. Do not interpret the result after 30 minutes. Interfering substances. If testing within three days is not possible, specimen should be stored frozen at minus 20 degrees centigrade. Specimen containing visible precipitates or cloudy specimens may give inconsistent test results. Such specimens should be clarified prior to testing 
by high-speed centrifugation, that is 10,000 RPM, for 15 minutes before testing. Hemolyzed specimen or specimen with microbial contamination should be discarded and fresh aliquot should be collected. Interpretation of results Positive When two distinct colored lines appear, one line should be in the control region C and another line should be in the test region T. Note The intensity of the color in the test line region T will vary depending on the concentration of HBS antigen present in the specimen. Therefore, any shade of color in the test region T should be considered positive. Negative when one colored line appears in the control region C. No apparent colored line appears in the test region T. Invalid test when control line fails to appear. Insufficient specimen volume or incorrect procedural techniques are the most likely reasons for control line failure. Review the procedure and repeat the test with a new test device. If the problem persists, discontinue using the test kit immediately and contact your local distributor. The test should be used for the detection of HBS AG in serum or plasma only and not in other body fluids. This is only a screening test. All reactive samples should be confirmed by confirmatory test. Therefore, for a definitive diagnosis, the patient's clinical history, symptomatology, as well as serological data should be considered. The results should be reported only after complying with above procedure.